Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today I'm taking a look at another one in the line of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Battle Shell figures. Yes, this time we have Leonardo. I was so impressed with the Raphael that I recently reviewed that I knew I had to go out and pick up the rest of this set. So I decided Leonardo should be my next figure. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the packaging in this figure. Here we do have a blister card packaging that features the logo for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the top. And as you come down here, you do have a blister bubble that shows the Leonardo packaged inside, as well as some of his accessories and some images of the other turtles from the TV series. And then it ends there at the bottom with his name. As we flip this package around, what you're going to see is that the Ninja Turtle logo is repeated on the back side of this packaging. And as we come midway down here, you do have an image of Leonardo from the show, as well as a window that shows the storage capacity to this particular Ninja Turtle. And then on the back here, we do have a complete list of all the figures available in this wave. Alright guys, well that's the packaging for this turtle. Let's say we get Leonardo out of the box and see what this figure is all about. Okay toy fans, here we have Leonardo out of the box and I've got to say I'm every bit as impressed with this Leonardo figure as I was in my original Raphael review of that figure. Playmates has really gone above and beyond uh, what they've done before here with the Ninja Turtle figures in the past. We've got excellent sculpting, excellent detail, great paintwork, really a lot to compliment about this run of turtle figures. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the detail. Let's begin with the sculpt of this figure here. Now the reason I picked up the Battle Shell Leonardo as opposed to the original release of Leonardo from Playmates is that this Leonardo has a show accurate head sculpt. With all of those first run of Ninja Turtle figures that came out, all of the turtles looks differed greatly from how they ended up appearing on the animated series. And it was obvious that the toys went into production before the show was done. What's great about these Battle Shell figures is that they actually look like the animated series turtles. So this is definitely the line you want to focus on if you're a fan of the animated series and just getting started. And Leonardo here does have a great head sculpt. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the paintwork and sculpting on this guy. As you start with here, Leonardo does have that blue bandana. He does have a brown belt here going across the front of his shell with some gold rings in there, which is a nice touch. He's got the brown elbow pads there, as well as some white tape on his wrist and on his fingers. And as we continue down here, he does have brown knee pads and white tape there on his feet. And as we flip the figure around here, we have the continued paint job here, the white on the feet and the brown everywhere it needs to be, as well as that great sculpt that really does match the show. It's also worth noting that the scabbard on the back of Leonardo's shell is detachable. Now honestly I'm not a big fan of this because I feel like the scabbard doesn't stay on as tightly as it should, so it kind of falls off just while you're posing the Leo, but it is a feature worth noting. Okay, and while we're on the topic of Leonardo's swords, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories for this figure. To start with here we do have the twin katana blades that Leonardo is known for carrying. These blades are sculpted really nicely, no paint on these items. And what's really great about these swords is the way they were packaged, unlike my Raphael size in my previous review, these swords were packaged so that they weren't warped out of the box. So I really appreciate that because I still haven't been able to fix those Raphael size. The plastic on these weapons here is actually harder than you would expect from a toy like this. So it's been a bit difficult to straighten them out if you have that problem. Moving on from here, we do have a set of throwing knives for Leonardo. First one here is a different style from the second one. There's more of a pointed throwing weapon there with a ring on the end. For here we have much more of a stake style knife weapon. And then finally Leonardo does come with these two shuriken or throwing stars as they're more commonly known. Also worth noting that it is a different sculpt from what we saw with Raphael. So the great thing about the Battle Shell line of Ninja Turtles figures is that all the accessories the turtles come with either store inside the figure or on the back of the figure. So with Leonardo here you just want to stick in the throwing stars and then the throwing knives, and then close that turtle up and make sure those swords are safely secured in the scabbard, and Leonardo is ready to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this Leonardo figure. To start with, he does have a head that rotates 360 degrees. It looks up that far, and it looks down that far. He does have a shoulder joint here that turns 360 degrees, as well as a joint that allows his arm to move up that far and down that far, so a great range of motion there. He does have a single jointed elbow there that moves forward that far and moves back that far. He does rotate 360 degrees at the elbow as well as 360 degrees at his wrist and that articulation is duplicated here on the other side. He does have a hip joint that moves forward that far and just like the wrap he does have that softer shell so he can actually hold a kicking pose. His leg does move back about that far, not as far. He does have a single jointed knee here that moves forward that far, moves back that far as well as has a 360 degree rotation at the knee. So a great range of motion there on this Leonardo figure. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the height of this Leonardo figure. He does stand, oh, just over four and a half inches tall, maybe closer to five inches there. And for some height comparison, here's Leonardo standing next to Battleshell Raphael that I've already reviewed from this series. And here's Leonardo standing next to Leonardo from the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy line. And here's Leonardo standing next to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward Leonardo from the 2006 toy line. And finally, here's Leonardo standing next to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Well, toy fans, that's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battleshell Leonardo from Playmates. And overall, I am really happy with this figure. I just have that one minor gripe, that is that the scabbard's removable. I feel like it's a little easy to fall out, and when you're trying to pose and articulate this figure, it just gets in the way, honestly, especially when it just falls off. So, really a minor gripe there. I do encourage you guys to pick up this figure. He is fantastic. He's probably the best Leonardo we've ever had. And thank you very much for watching this review, guys. If you like what you're seeing here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, hit me up on Twitter, at D21Beast. I'd love to talk to you guys. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.